Hello! In this tutorial, we will be using an online database called Academic Search Premier to look for articles. Academic Search Premier includes some newspaper and magazine articles, but it has the most scholarly journal articles. So if your instructor requires you to have a scholarly or peer-reviewed source, Academic Search Premier should be your first search. To get to Academic Search Premier, begin at the library website, www.edcc.edu slash library. Under Library Resources, click on Articles and Databases. The first box includes the library's recommended multidisciplinary databases, and Academic Search Premier is listed. Click to open. If you're off campus, you'll be prompted to log in with your student number and last name. You'll be taken to the Advanced Search screen. It's important to use the advanced search screen because it allows you the most control over your search. Before you begin searching, take a moment to brainstorm possible keywords. For example, if I'm interested in researching what schools can do to prevent bullying, I might think of different search terms like bullying, prevention, suicide, depression, schools, harassment, etc. Trying different combinations of these terms will help me retrieve all relevant results. Let's try a basic search with some of these terms. I'm going to put bullying in the first box and prevention in the second box and then hit this green search button. This is my first list of results. As you can see, I have over a thousand, which is way too many to be useful. So I know that I need to narrow. My search has been preserved up here at the top, so I can just add to it from here. Let's try suicide as a more narrow term. So now I'm looking for articles that include bullying and prevention and suicide. Now I have 80, which is still a lot, but is definitely more on track. Let's try to narrow some more using these limiters on the left-hand side. First, I'm going to limit to full text. This will give me only results that I can read online right now. And since my instructor said that my article has to be peer-reviewed, I'm going to click the scholarly peer-reviewed journals button. Now hit the green update button to see how our results have been narrowed. Now I have 15 results that are all very specific about my topic and they're full text and scholarly. So I know I can use any of them that are relevant for my paper. At this point, I would want to scroll through the list looking at the titles to see which ones I'm interested in reading. If I want to read one, I would click on the title and then I can see all of the publication information that I'll need up here at the top. This will help me write my citation. If I want to read the full text of the article, you should click on the PDF full text over here on the left, and this will open up a digitized version of the original print. If you want to print the article to review it, you can use the printing functionality right here. Hover over and it will pop up. You can also email it to yourself instead if you want to read it later. Just put your email in here and make sure that the PDF as separate attachment is checked. One other useful thing is that you can use this citation generator over here on the right hand side. This is a great place to take your information from, but it's very important to check this against the handbook or the library's resource guide for citations because they are often full of errors. You can also always double check this with a librarian, of course. This has been a very basic introduction to searching in Academic Search Premier. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact a librarian.